My name's Angel. I'm a notary in Bay Area. I just quit my job yesterday, my Holy daytime job, smoke. because I realized that I could be using my time better um, being a notary. And last month, I made $7,000. <gasps> no way! <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Let's get to it. My name's Angel. I'm a notary in Bay Area. Um, I just quit my job yesterday, my Holy daytime smoke. job, because I realized that I could using my time better um, being a notary. And so anyway, um, last month I made $7,000 and I took a week off for vacation um, to Mexico and I was working at my daytime job too. And it's just crazy. What, what are the possibilities from this month now that I'm full time? And so I just want to know, Mark, how can I structure my day? Because even today I have signings. I did my marketing. I dropped off docs. I picked up another office today. But, you know, it's kind of all over the place and there's no yeah. real structure. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's just great. I, I mean, and first off, congratulations, $7,000. I mean, part time. I'm so happy. I, everyone is here. One week off. Then I a week do, off. Do. I'm not even like a, a veteran. I, I just started in late January. So anyone I can do it. it. You can do it. This is a sign that you can do it. <laughs> Good. I love you. Inspire everybody else. That is the LSS way. Okay. So, so there's two, there's one really big thing I want you to bring into this new full-time career. Okay. Yes. There is a difference. I want you to hear me on this. Yes. There is a difference between being busy and productive. Okay. Busy, th busy are items that move your business in a micro moment. Being productive are actions that makes leaps and bounds. So what a lot of new signing agents do when they go full-time, they do busy work. They worry about their leave behinds. They worry about their flyers. They worry about their business cards. They worry about scheduling three or four different network events. They do all the busy work, but none of the productive work. Does that make sense? And it's an easy trap to fall into because now all of a sudden you have so much time. See, when you are part-time, you're forced to be productive, right? You're like, I only have two hours, so I got to fit as much things I can in two hours. Now, all of a sudden, you have eight hours. And so it's easy to fall into the busy route, not the productive route. Does that make sense? So the first thing I want to do is when you become more structured, which we're going to talk about, is making sure you're putting in productive actions, not busy actions. Don't worry about your business cards. Don't worry about your flyers. Don't worry about your leave behind. Your goal is to make a list of every title company where you live. Your goal then is to memorize that script. Your goal is to gratitude. Your goal is to hit at least two or three title companies every single day. That is productive work. Does that make sense? All the things in between doesn't matter, girl. Everyone needs to know how amazing you are. Your job is to just literally Google title offices near you, Google real estate agents offices near you, Google open houses, and then create a plan of attack on how you're gonna hit those, right? So maybe it's you take the ones that are closest to your, you, to your home, then you go in the next ring, then you go in the third ring. But the point I'm trying to coach you on right now is make sure every action you do is productive, not busy. That's gonna be the key to scale you to $10,000 a month because it's gonna be very easy for time to get away from you because when we're part-time, like I said, we're forced to be productive, right? You're like, I got two hours, I got 60 minutes at lunch. So you're forced to be productive, but when you have eight hours, you're like, well, let me take a little bit longer to do the dishes today. Let me do it a little bit longer to, to, to work out, right? You know what I mean? And all of a sudden, your eight hours turns into five hours when you almost got more done in two hours than you did five hours because you're productive, not busy. Does that make sense? So as this is open up to you, it's really key. So my, what I'm really going to coach you on is self-discipline. It's very easy to let time get away with you and all of a sudden you have a bunch of time. So your job is to be self-disciplined. That, that, that's really what's more important than structured self-discipline. I don't need to be washing dishes for the next 45 minutes. I need to be in the gym for 60 minutes. That's it. I need to hustle home. I need to put on my, my going out outfit. I got to get all my gratituding done the night before. See, what happens sometimes is, you know, you have all the time in the world. So you wake up in the morning and you get all your, like, your gratituding stuff together. By the time you're done with your gratituding, it's noon. Right. And you're like, oh, my gosh, instead of getting it done the night before. So right when you wake up at 8 a.m., you're out the front door. Does that make sense? So it's discipline. That's going to be the hardest thing for you to make that transfer because you when you were forced to be disciplined because you only had two hours a day. It's easy. But now you're like, oh, my gosh, I can go to the gym for 90 minutes. I can, you know, take longer to do breakfast. I can take longer. I can do lunch with my man. You know what I mean? 
but those things eat away at building a business. Does that make sense? So the biggest key here is to really make sure that you're really disciplined over the next four to six weeks because you want to create the momentum, right? Momentum creates momentum. Once you get one title company, you get two, you get four, you get eight, but it's creating the momentum that's hard. So your goal right now is to realize self-discipline, make sure that you're, you're going to the appointments you need, make sure that you do a lot of your stuff in the evening so when you wake up in the morning, you can jump out the front door. Does that make sense? Because a lot of times people will like, you know what, since I have all day tomorrow, I'll just wake up and get everything together in the morning and all of a sudden half your morning's gone. Right. When that's moments you should have been actually marketing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And my cool. quick, one very quick question. Yeah. So when I you know, do my marketing to an escrow office that I've never been to, of course I bring my, my food, the bagel, things like that. But when I market to them again the next week, I feel like I should bring something. If I go empty handed, I feel like I'm wasting their time because they, they're super busy and they, they're, they're hardly looking up and they're trying to, you know, give me attention, but they can't, you know, so I don't know what to do. I, I, don't, I remember in your course, you said just say hi, but I feel like I'm lacking. Yeah, well, let me, let me tell you this, okay? As you make this bridge and being a business owner, I want you to start trusting your gut more. What's your gut say? Don't do it. Well, well, no, you had, so what do you mean don't do it? Like when you just said, Mark, should I bring them in second something the second time? What does your gut say that you should do? You bring something every week. Then do it. So my point is trust okay. your gut, girl. Okay? I think a lot of times, okay. you know, signing so agents who make that next step. Go on. You know, let's say the first time I go into the escrow office, bring bagels. Next week, maybe give them a $5 gift card. Next week, another gift card. Like something like that. Trust your gut. Okay. Okay. Trust your gut. Well, I mean, what is like I said? I want you to, I want you to answer that question. The, the best coaching I can do is help you trust your natural business building instincts. Does that make sense? Now, yeah. I'm going to end with this. Okay. Um, I'm going to end with two things. A little bit of coaching. Remember, I do not teach you to buy somebody. What I teach you is to show gratitude. When you walk into a title company the second or third time, like you said, they're busy. They're doing, they're looking down at the computer trying to give you time. You should be like, I want to say thank you for the time you're giving me. So I want to get outside of your head of just, oh, I want to give $5 Starbucks. That's not the attitude. That's not the mindset I want you to have. It is when you go in the second or third or fourth and fifth time, it is, look, I know you're busy. I know the last thing you want to do is listen to that notary come back in here again. Because of that, I want to say thank you for that time. Here is what I want to show my gratitude with. Does that make sense? So make sure you're not just dropping off and leaving because you're A, doing something that I don't teach. B, they're feeling like they're being bought. C, it becomes not authentic at all. So at the minimum, it is, look, here is this because I want to say thank you so much for the 10 minutes that you're giving me right now. Does that make sense? So remember, it's called gratituding for a reason. You're thanking them for that moment. Does that make sense? Got it. Cool. Thank you. I'm going to let you go. You're Thank you up so much, Mark. Day. Yes, it makes sense. You want to do you. at least one title company a day. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs>